What's up guys? Today we're talking about, well, you already know, you, you saw the title and the thumbnail, you clicked on this video, you already know what we're talking about, so I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to tell you, you already know, so I don't, I don't need to say it. Today we're talking about... Alright, so Premiere versus After Effects. When should you use which? When should you use Premiere versus when should you use After Effects? What are their strengths? What are their weaknesses? That's what we're talking about today. So I'm just gonna do like this compare and contrast thing like... This is how Premiere does this thing, this is how After Effects does this thing. Ah, you'll see. We'll, let's just jump into it. So one of Premiere Pro's biggest strengths is linear timeline editing. That's where you have your timeline, you put your clips along the timeline, you can shorten them and cut them and split them up and, you know. So that means Premiere Pro is better for very basic editing. So if you just want to do cuts to your videos or just put a couple clips together or something simple of that nature, then that's where Premiere really shines. Whereas After Effects is more about the layer-based editing, about adding layer on top of layer and compositing things together and having many different elements happening on the video at once. Technically, you can do just regular linear timeline editing in After Effects, but it becomes very cumbersome after a while because you can't have multiple different video clips on the same layer in After Effects. Each one has to be its own individual layer. So if you were to do some linear editing in After Effects, it would just kind of start to look like a staircase of clips on your timeline. Now, Premiere Pro is good at some basic effects and basic color grading, but After Effects has a much better layout and much better tools for more advanced effects like anything related to motion tracking, anything related to compositing images on top of each other. After Effects is much more adept at things like that. Premiere Pro is good if you're already editing your video in Premiere and you just want to add a slight brightness contrast tweak maybe, or just like one curves adjustment, or maybe you just want like warp stabilizer on your clip then Premiere is good for that. But once you start stacking layers and layers of effects on clips, then that's really your bread and butter of After Effects. It's also much easier to tweak keyframes for effects in After Effects. Now, what about audio? You can include and edit audio in both After Effects and Premiere technically, but Premiere has a much better layout for working with audio. You can double click on your tracks to easily see waveforms, it's much easier to add keyframes for adjusting levels, and there are a lot more audio effects in Premiere than there are in After Effects. After Effects can include audio, but it's usually just as a reference. So if you wanna do some larger sound editing where you have lots of layers of audio mixing together, then Premiere or maybe even Adobe Audition is your best bet for that. So when it comes to Premiere's place in your editing workflow, Premiere is usually used to do the general edits of a clip. So your main project assembly and overall view should be done in Premiere because the way Premiere is laid out just makes it much easier to do that sort of editing. Then once you have your rough edit together, then After Effects can be used on just specific clips within your edit to apply the more advanced effects that you want. One of my favorite things about the Adobe Suite is Dynamic Link. So you can just click on one of your clips in Premiere and click replace with After Effects composition. And that's it, it's just going to open that clip in After Effects and you can edit that clip in After Effects and all the changes you save are going to just automatically show up on that clip in Premiere. So what I recommend is that you do all of your editing, audio work, color grading in Premiere and then use After Effects on a clip by clip basis, depending on what clips need effects and what clips don't, because you don't necessarily need to bring every clip into After Effects if you only need to apply effects to a few of them. So there you go, just a quick little explanation of when you should use After Effects versus when you should use Premiere. If you found this video helpful, please give a like. Uh, if you enjoyed it and wanna see more, then you can also hit the subscribe button. Um, you can also check out all my social media links and links to my gear in the description. I get lots of questions about what gear I use. It's all linked in the description, always. You don't need to ask me, it's there. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.